Hey everybody, my name is Kelly Moore. I'm the owner of Kelly Moore Photography here in Rome, Georgia. And uh, I'll give you a, a brief history about how I got here. I uh, grew up in Rome, Georgia, uh, attended, attended Darlington School and graduated back in 1995. And uh, then I was a very unsuccessful college student at Auburn University. Uh, enjoyed myself a little too much there. Um, so I decided to uh, go to art school in Atlanta, Portfolio Center of Atlanta, and uh, spent two years there and graduated with a degree in photography. And uh, after graduating, I uh, moved to New York City to assist other photographers and to learn what I didn't learn in art school. So uh, I spent two years up there in New York, didn't make any money, but the experience of going there and learning and just the life experiences I had up there uh, were tremendous. and. Um, and probably one of the greatest decisions I've ever made in my life. Um, so I moved back to Rome, I guess, around in 2003, 2004. Uh, always knew I was going to move back to Rome and, and start up my shop here. And I moved back and uh, started uh, working out of my house, doing portraits for people in their house. I would travel from house to house to uh, photograph kids and, and families and, and things like that. And then three years ago, I uh, found this studio, uh, downtown Rome, and moved in, and so I have a studio here, and then behind the camera guy, I have a gallery to show kind of my artwork. I've been here three years, and uh, it's worked out very well. The exposure of having this studio uh, right off of Broad Street has been great. It's, it's, a, uh, it's a billboard. Uh, it's an open portfolio for people to see when they drive by. And uh, so uh, I guess that's kind of a brief history of who I am and what I do. For people out there interested in what you do, mm -hmm. what would be your top five pieces of advice? Five pieces of advice. Well, funny you ask that because I have five pieces of advice right here. Uh, the number one advice I would have... Um, the goal of any creative person, whether it be painter, photographer, graphic designer, uh, whatever it may be, is to create what the client hired you for. Uh, you were hired for a reason. Uh, you were hired to create what the client has envisioned. Uh, once you get done cre getting that perfect shot, um, something I'll always remember a teacher told me in art school was to once you get the job, once you get the final shot, once you please the client, do something completely different. Try something different. More times than not, the client will go for that different image or that different painting or whatever the uh, medium may be. Hint number two, not hint, but um, tip number two. Uh, as much as I work on creating art uh, and different things and photography and, and, and working on my craft, I work harder on being a business owner. Uh, that's not the fun part of this. Uh, you must have good business sense. You must be a good business owner. Uh, if, if you're the greatest artist in the world and you run a bad business, clients won't hire you. It's not a lot of fun. Uh, I would say the majority of my time is spent running the business, not creating but that's just kind of life. So, uh, Tip number three, not everybody's going to like your work. Your friends and family will love your work. Do not ask them to critique your work because they will say they like it. They always will. Ask people in the industry what they think of your work. Uh, ask random people. Uh, you, you've got to have a thick skin to be an artist because not everybody's going to like your work. You've got to be able to take criticism well um, yeah, there you go for that. Um, let's see here. Don't rely on your friends and family to keep your business going. In my case, uh, my focus is, is children portraiture and family portraiture. Um, my friends can only have so many kids and they only want so many pictures. Uh, you have to be proactive. You have to make the hustle to get out there and pound the pavement to find work. Uh, until you're well established, you have to go find the work. If you sit and wait, your business is going to fail. Uh, and uh, 
Tip number five, marry somebody that has insurance and a consistent paycheck because there is a lot of downtime when you're not going to have work. And that goes back to the previous tip. You've, you've got to hustle. It's the small business hustle. If you want to be successful, you have to do it yourself because you are your own boss. So there are my five tips for you.